The next item I'm going to show you is something that is selling way faster than I thought. When I got them, I picked them up, I knew it was going to make us a bunch of money, but I didn't think it was going to make it quickly. Hello everybody, welcome to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin, we're in the cabin. And before I start, I just want to say thank you. You know, I don't know exactly when they sold out because I haven't been paying attention, but we are uh, going to ship these out really quickly. We're waiting for it all to process through and just do it all at once. So I just want to say thank you to everybody out there who grabbed one. We're going to say thanks to a few folks who bought some stuff at the end of the show. Reagan's going to do that. There's a whole ton of them. We're not going to do that today. We're just going to pick out five or six and get that done and then maybe do a few more tomorrow and a few more day after that. But we do appreciate it. Very, very kind. And I want to see a picture of those hanging on some Christmas trees and uh, and some people wearing those t-shirts and those mugs as well. Out to garage sales. Maybe you can identify yourself out there with somebody like, oh, look at that. They got that shirt on. <laughs> you can maybe make a friend out there garage sale. And hey, we sold some great stuff. We're going to do some early shipping like we've been doing lately. So we don't have too much to do on Sunday evening and uh, I'm pretty happy with the sales so far this weekend and we'll see how the rest of the weekend goes. Let's take a look at what's sold. All right, here's an item that I got and I didn't even pay anything for it. I wouldn't have bought this thing. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it is a VCR rewinder. I usually don't pick these up unless they're the really light kind and then I'll put it in a bundle with a VCR. I might take a blank VHS tape, AV cables, hopefully a remote, a VCR and then a VCR rewinder and sometimes sell all those together. But at any rate, I do sell them from time to time. This is a Starlight version, and it's a better one than a lot of the cheaper, lighter ones, but they still are hard sellers. But this one sold for $15 and change. No, I take it back, $14 and change, plus shipping on this one. And it's a decent little profit, but nothing amazing. I usually shy away from these unless they're pretty unique. Did y'all ever have VCR rewinders or VHS rewinders? We never had one when I was a kid. I'm old enough to remember going to the grocery store and renting the VCR and renting the movie. <laughs> but I don't ever remember having a VCR rewinder. I know a lot of people do. I guess it's to uh, rewind it so you can start the next movie ASAP. So don't forget to rewind. All right, I think I said the other day that this was the last mini we had. And these are going out. It's funny that these sold. There's no way they're getting there. Well, you're seeing this after Halloween, so it's Halloween. But this is uh, something, I guess, that somebody... I don't know if it was a viewer or not. Didn't have a message. But I said this was the last one we had of the mini, and the rest I'd have to sell like this. But that wasn't the case. When I saw it sell, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't think we have any minis left. But I went in there and dug to the bottom of the Mickey's. And I found one more mini. $17.50 plus shipping. And somebody asked what the heck they were. So here you go. They're push-ins. Instead of doing all the carving, they just push these in to the pumpkin. And it's just a, a sorry excuse not to have to carve a jack-o'-lantern. Let me know, by the way, down in the comments, if you had any luck with retail arbitrage after Halloween. Let me know if anybody out there is finding anything that they can... Uh, resell on eBay or Amazon or wherever. Fisher, uh, this is an operating instructions manual here for a CA9025 amplifier. I bought a whole bunch of this Fisher stuff and sold off a couple components in the remote, and I think I sold off the remote, and I sold off these booklets separately for the items that didn't work or I didn't have with the system. And this sold for $11 plus shipping, so it's not a bad little deal sometimes if you get that electronic stuff that doesn't work I think one of them didn't work, is if you have the manuals or remotes, you know, when in doubt, part it out. The next item I'm going to show you is something that is selling way faster than I thought. When I got them, I picked them up, I knew it was going to make us a bunch of money, but I didn't think it was going to make it quickly. I thought I'd have these in my life for years. I still might because I got a bunch of them. But this one is so far the best one we've sold for the most amount of money. And it, oh, this is not the right one. I have the wrong one. This is a fern. I gotta find a fish. Let me go find a fish. All right, I found the right one. General biology series. Here's the fish head. There's a clam right here. So that's what got me. It says clam right there. And I have fish head in the thing. I figured fish head would be marketable than, more marketable than clam. That's why I put it in the title. So there you go. 
Would you want that hanging on your wall is the question. I don't know. Look at that. The genital pore right there. What do you know? <laughs> Ooh, geez. This one was pretty good. It ended up selling for $50 plus shipping. And somebody asked, that's like a canvas material. It's not paper. Some of them are more paper than anything else, but that's what that is. And hey, I don't, you know, it doesn't matter to me what people use this stuff for. If you're paying me 50 bucks plus shipping, I'm pretty happy. Keep an eye out for that odd stuff like that. Uh, there wasn't very many listed in the United States. I see a bunch overseas, but very, very few here in the U.S. And maybe for you teachers out there, you can find them or librarians or somebody. You can find that kind of stuff at uh, discards. You know, people go there looking for Amazon books and stuff. But every once in a while, that kind of stuff's laying around. And you can pick it up and it's usually dirt cheap because people want to get rid of it because it's a big space taker. And that's how I ended up getting those because they were taking too much of somebody's space and I'm going to capitalize on it pretty well. I had a couple people ask lately about how to ship something like that. Had one person ask about a golf club and I'm not positive exactly where the videos are, but if you're fairly new to this and you want to watch the shipping videos we used to do, I'm sure we'll do them at some point. If you go to Commonwealth Flipper and go to playlists, find the shipping playlist and we have maybe 20 shipping videos and that's all it is is me shipping so most people don't like to sit and listen to that watch that for 10 minutes but they're on there if you want to get some tips and tricks on how to ship find that playlist and you might find something like that but let me show it to you real quick i'm not going to ship the whole thing here at least not right now but i take the long tube the long post office tube I just order these on USPS.com and then, and that's not going to be long enough as you can see, because it goes from here, you know, it's not quite long enough. And so we take that one and then we Franken box it with the shorter one right there and just add that one onto the end of it. And that's how we ship them. And there, you'd be surprised. This is going to ship out for under $9. So it's going to be like 45 inches long and then by six by five or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it is. But they're not that expensive because they're really light. This is going to stay under three pounds in that shipping. All right, since we're over here, here is... My wife wants to keep this. I haven't listed it. She says she's going to put it on her visor in the car. I don't know. I should list it. What do you think? And here is an ashtray that's sold. And we don't make much money. Y'all, if this said McDonald's on it, it'd be worth like uh, 50 bucks. Oh, actually, I take that back. The McDonald ones like this right now, the amber ones, are going for in the hundreds of dollars, 150 Crazy money right now. So if you're out there, don't just ignore ashtrays. This one's almost worthless. It's $5 plus shipping. But if you find a McDonald's one like that, big, big bucks. All right, let me put that back right there, and we'll see what else we got. Speaking of items I love to sell, ashtrays being one, and they make me no money. They just give me some kind of strange satisfaction. The other one is a super shooter, but this is a super shooter I've never sold before. I love the model 7001, but this is a super shooter plus, and I've never sold it before. Let me show you this side. There it is right there. And I think this one might be new. I'm not quite sure. I think it's never been used. At any rate, it's a pretty good one. And this one ended up going, I think for 40 plus shipping. Let me double check. Yep, that's it. This one went for $40 plus shipping. And Super Shooter Market is down a little bit because, well, <laughs> because of me, I hate to say. I think, anyways. But uh, let me know out there, have you found a Super Shooter in the last uh, few months? And uh, what did you get for it? Or is it not sold? I sold a used one, or excuse me, I sold a new one the other day for 50 plus shipping. And I think this one is new as well. No, well, it doesn't say new in the title anyway, so I'm not quite sure. But at any rate, I'm not going to undo it at this point. This one sold for $40 plus shipping. All right, last but not least is a hat that I picked up, a visor that I picked up at a sale not too long ago. Bundled a bunch of stuff, getting stuff cheap. This isn't a huge money maker. All right, see if I can find this one. It's a visor. I don't see. Oh, there it is. Hold on. I think that, oh, that's it right there. It's an old Yankee visor. Not in amazing condition, but it is definitely an old vintage Yankee visor right there. And this thing sold, it was on, I think I put it on sale. I think $10.40 plus shipping on that old Yankee visor. Paid a dollar, so you know there's about $8 profit in it. All right, y'all, we got a lot going on in here. Reagan's pulling orders for Commonwealth Picker. Where you at there, girl? 
<laughs> Turner, what do you got there? A homeschool hustler oh, store sale. Bear. That's a Care Bear. It's actually a Care Bear cousin. Did Good I job. Watch no, I don't think you ever really watched Care Bears. I actually watched Care Bears. I'm not proud to say. <laughs> I remember my dad took me and a bunch of people that went to my church when I was a little boy. And we went to go see Care Bears. We went and saw the Care Bear movie. And I remember you got can. It was like they were doing some kind of fundraiser. And we got, or not fundraiser, but food, food pantry. And so we got cans of food and they let us in free to go watch the Care Bears. My dad took us. That was really odd. Why do I remember that? All right. Anyway, that is Bright Heart Raccoon. I think that's his name. And I paid a buck for it. We didn't sell it for much. Um, we sold it, I think, out the door for twelve fifty. So that is definitely enough for you to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate it. Yep, with a little bit left over. I think we'll make five, five fifty on that. So, anyway, thank you. Bye. All right, y'all. Reagan wanted to thank a few folks here. CommonwealthPicker dot com. What'd you sell? Um, we sold some shirts. Um, and then ornaments. You got shirts, and stickers, mugs, stickers. ornaments, all kinds of stuff, right? Uh oh, better keep her out of the merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she likes boxes, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> long as she doesn't touch those shirts. All right, give them a thank you. Um, thank you to Thirsty as Me, Shad Juice, Mountain Man Treasures, Samantha, Tracy, and Michael. Awesome. Thank you. And Thrifty as Me, big shout out to her. She got the number one, the number one we get things moving ornament. And that's appropriate because she was one of our very first, she was our first commenter. What do you think about that? That's really All right, cool. thank you, Reagan. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. Right, this is a Mary Kay that took a long time to sell. Safari Sunrise Sunset. Sunrise. Hmm. <laughs> With that fiddler on the roof. <laughs> All right, so this one sold for $11 free shipping. All pure profit. I think we've only sold a couple of these little uh, eyeshadows. I think that's what they are anyway. All right, there's a story behind this shirt, and I sold it on sale. And I think it would, hold on a minute. $11.81. So it's American rag, size large. And the story behind, we're going to make about $2.50. That's it. And I think I had it out there for like $12.95 and it, and it got put, put on sale just to get rid of it. It's one of the things that's been there for a long time. So this is a couple years old. I went to Goodwill. I, we used to go to Goodwill a lot more than we go now. We just don't do it as much. I have a lot more room in here <laughs> since I stopped going to the Goodwill as much as I used to. And I would if I felt like I needed to, but I've been finding so much at garage sales the last few years. It just doesn't seem like it's worth it. My wife wants to go really bad. Anyway, long story short, my daughter would go with us. And then every once in a while, you know, when she was really little or a lot littler than she is now, my, my son would go too. And he was too young to do this, but she'd get bored. You know, you're in there for half an hour and you can only look at the toys for so long. <laughs> and so she would uh, follow me around and tug at me and stuff. And I'd say, hey, you know, and I'd give her ideas of shirts to look for on the lower rack because there's a couple of racks. And I told her every time she found one that was good enough to buy, I'd give her a quarter. And I told her how to look for the ones with the ponies and the Under Armour things. And she got okay at it. Well, the very first one. I think it was the very first one. It was one of the first ones. It was this shirt. I told her to look for the ones with the snappy buttons. And she pulled this and she was so excited that she had it. And I looked at it and it's American. I'm like, this isn't that great. But I didn't tell her that. I'm like, oh, that's so great. And so we bought it and I gave her her quarter. And I'm like, this is going to be a tough sell. But we're still going to make two. Actually, we're going to make two twenty five dollars because I had to give her a quarter for it. So... <laughs> That's a great shirt, and it makes me happy, and I'm going to go upstairs and tell her that it's sold. She probably won't remember like I do, though. Two of these sold together, Shell, and they... I put them on one of those where you, you can basically, if you buy two, you get 10% off or whatever. $24.85 plus... Hold on, I don't think that's right. So $24 on these two, and we're going to ship them out together. Pretty good profit. You know, you give them a discount, and it's free shipping. I think these were free shipping. I'm not positive. I think they were. You can give them a discount on it, and you get that money back plus more by shipping them together. All right, Pink Daisy lipstick signature. I think there were six Mary Kay things. Three more already have sold this weekend that I don't even have on here. This is $15 plus shipping. All of this is pure profit. Three different lots of stuff. All three lots are pure profit after the first couple of sales. Really, really good money. If I could find a steady supply of this Mary Kay stuff, I think I would quit teaching. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm pretty certain I would. Sparkling Cider. 
I love Martinelli sparkling cider. That stuff's good. And this one sold for $11, I think, free shipping. Nope, I take it back. $11 plus shipping. Hey, we had no viewer sales on the Commonwealth Picker store, which is interesting. You know, it's been a long time since I could say that. Certainly with those in a man, maybe like, I don't know, a year. <laughs> it's been a long time. We did have one sale, I think, to a viewer. No? I take it back. The Homeschool Hustler store wasn't either. But we had so many of you buy something out of the CommonwealthPicker.com store. I'm not going to be able to say thank you to everybody. I'm just going to pick the first five out, the things that sold, I think, on Thursday. And then we'll try to get through the rest over the next, you know, however many days. But there are uh, three people I want to mention, and then or four, and then one person who left us a note. So I'm going to read it real quick. All right, the only message, this hurts me because it's coming from a Dodger fan here. This is from Tracy. She says, thanks again for my other shirt and mug. Sorry, Kevin, I had to get a Dodger blue one. <laughs> Could you say hello to my husband, Basilio? He was really shocked the last time. So blessings to all, Tracy. So Tracy, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Torrance, California, that's Los Angeles County, I think. No wonder you're a Dodger fan. You're not from Orange County. So thank you, Tracy. And the other ones I want to mention really quick, and they did not leave a message. They did not ask for a shout out. But one is Michael, and thank you to Michael. He bought a couple things, uh, a couple of blue, I think a blue shirt and a sticker. And Reagan usually does this, but she doesn't read the comments. So I just wanted to give a big thank you. Troy, Mountain Man Treasures, he didn't ask for this. Mountain Man Treasures, I know a lot of you know him and his YouTube channel. He was the first one to buy a uh, We Get Things Moving shirt, the very first. So thank you so much. And then Mike, Shad Juice. Shad Juice, if you watch Garage Sale channels, I know you watch Shad Juice's channel for sure. He's been a friend of the program for a while. We appreciate him. And a special shout out here to Thrifty As Me, Esmeralda. So Thrifty As Me, really, really appreciate it. You have been here longer than just about anybody. You're definitely in like the top 25. You might even been in one of our first comments or maybe even our first commenter ever on a video. So we appreciate you. Thank you so much. We hope you're doing well. We hope your YouTube channel is going well as well. We haven't looked at that one in a while. I'll have to go over there and check it out. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. We'll give some thank yous to some other folks in the next few days. We really appreciate your support. I can't say enough about you guys. You guys are awesome to us. Not deserved at all. And we do appreciate it. Thank you. And we hope you had a wonderful Halloween. We hope you survive the coming week and we hope we all stick together we're glad that you join us every night and we appreciate you and we'll see you next time hey here is a quick gift that was sent to us dear kevin my daughter Kristen, and i are huge fans of both your channels and watch daily we both have our own ebay stores and enjoy reselling from louisiana or as my grandma used to say louisiana uh, we wanted to send you an lsu go tigers license plate oh lonnie would be so proud to add to your collection. Christian graduated from LSU, and I have a daughter who is a senior there now. We do not have a YouTube channel, but I would love it if you, here we go, here we go. Here's your shout out. Exclusive retail on Instagram. Y'all go check it out. Exclusive retail on Instagram and tell them I sent you. It is refreshing to watch you and your sweet, all right, not all that gussy stuff now. Here. Let's check this thing out. I'm gonna have to find, oh, look at that. I love it. It's like Randy Macho Man Savage right here. Look at that. Movie magic. Go Tigers. I love it. <laughs> the old G-E-A-U-X. Where am I going to put this thing, y'all? Where am I going to put that? Where's this? This is where the, the last bit of the Inaman that we haven't <laughs> put up anywhere. Everybody's asking about them. We will. Maybe there. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Thank y'all so much. We do appreciate it.